Okay, so what's up guys? This is Adrox in another video. In today's video, we are going to be showing how to build a sugarcane farm in 10 minutes. So yeah, let's do it. What you're going to be needing is, if we go to the island real quick, and we go to this chest, what you're going to be needing is a basket of seeds, a builder ruler, and a shovel. And I would also recommend uh, a prison pump, and that's it. I would, you might want to get a magical water bucket, but you don't really need it. Now you're also going to be needing to buy uh, some sand and slabs. You don't, it doesn't matter which ones you buy because we're using a hoe. So you can buy whichever slabs you want, but you need sand and slabs. So yeah, we're going to need to start with sand. Now that you have a bunch of sand, what you're going to be needing is to take one space backward from uh, the end and then place two blocks of sand and another space, another two blocks, another space, another two blocks. And continue this the entire row, the entire plot. Okay, now that we're done building the entire plot, what you're gonna be doing now is take the water prisma pump and you're going to want to put it in the empty rows. Now that you have water in the in all the plots, what you want to do is go take some slabs. I would recommend cobblestone just because I feel they look pretty good. Uh, you can do whatever one you want. Then what you want to do is put one block of cobblestone at the end of each uh, row. Then once you have this uh, in every end of the row, what you do is place a slab like this. Okay, and once you've done that, just break the cobblestone right here, at the end of the rows. Now that you have this plot uh, right here, what you want to do is go desk, save plot, uh, and you then paste it five times uh, for convenience. So then what you want to do is you want to take a basket of seeds you go to basket of seeds and you buy a bunch of sugar cane uh, and you want to fill the entire basket of seeds with cane now imagine by the way that this is fire plots because i don't want to wait until the fire plots fade but yeah um then just place sugar cane the entire uh, plot then once you have the entire thing uh, block off the final row um, you can use uh, slabs again, it's not really important. Okay, once you have blocked the final rows, uh, I don't need to do this side because it's already blocked, but you do need to generally do that side as well. You go to the beginning, say here, um, and you, if you decide on this row, then all you have to do is just uh, every other row break a block. Um, every other row you need to break a block and put a slab instead of the water and then you go and do the same thing on the other side um, okay um, so now we have done this and the farm is basically done uh, all you have to do now is walk through the farm uh, it says spawn here and yeah you just walk like this uh, and you farm as much as you want. Uh, now the benefit of farming sugarcane with this farm is that it's very easy to build. Uh, it's very efficient. Uh, also sugarcane has a chance of dropping fermento. I'm pretty sure it's the best drop for fermento because you're breaking uh, two blocks at once every block because uh, it's three blocks high and you're breaking like rows of two. So it's the most efficient at getting fermentos. Uh, and yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and turn on notification. And until the next time, goodbye.